What is up, AGZ gang? Yes, sir. Now, hold up. Let's slow down the roll a little bit. I know a lot of y'all boys have been waiting for this video since almost five, six days ago. Now, I do have a worthy explanation for that. It's called There Are Other Games Outside of Deep Woken, and I am a content creator. So I have to play and make videos on those other games. Now putting that aside, I have here today the video of how to get your bells. I call it the Silver Moon method just because I'm Silver Moon and I want to call it the Silver Moon method even though it has nothing to do with being Silver Moon, it's just playing the game. But yeah, Silver Moon method, how to get bells. Um, as you can see, I have gotten my bell on my third, this is my third time getting a bell. Um, and as you can see, this is what the bell is. I'm not gonna lie, it took me less than a day. Let's say 24 hours, less than 24 hours to get the bell. It's not that hard, you just gotta play the game. Now, actually, hold up, this is still the intro. Y'all boys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> also, hit the like button in the video, I want this to at least hit 300 likes. Only because I'm putting y'all on game. A lot of y'all boys say, oh, I already know how to get bell. Duh, 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 duh. This is already public knowledge. Blah, 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 blah. Then why are you so insistent that I drop the video? Play my intro. I do think it is best to just play the game like a lot of people rush bells and uh, blah 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 because they want to maximize their build or they want a specific bell as early as they can get it blah 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 but i do feel like it kind of ruins the gameplay experience to just you know have a linear progression and you're just aiming for one thing instead of experiencing the game for what it is and just having fun playing it and Lord Sendo said this perfectly in his bell progression video that he posted a couple days ago. Just play the game, bro. But again, if you want, you guys are here to get bells, so I'm going to tell you how to get bells. Um, so if you do want bells in P just doing PvP or arena, um, I'm not too sure if arena gives more progression than just killing people in the overworld because obviously you get exp for winning an arena match and it gives you quite a bit of exp um and two things to take into account having the trial of one legendary card and having adept may may most definitely affects your progression so both of these things make you progress faster and as we all know progression is what leads to how fast you get the bell, whether you get the bell sooner or later. Every player progresses at different rates. Every character slot is going to progress differently, etc. But saying that doesn't mean, oh, someone's going to do one primadon and another person's going to do 50 primadons. It's not that big of a rate. So everyone does progress differently, but it's not like huge. Like, oh, this guy progresses way faster than me and we have similar builds, etc. So, I do recommend either having Adept or passing the Trial of One for these things. If you don't have either of those legendary cards, you need either one or the other. If you don't have either one or the other, wipe the slot because nothing I'm going to say applies to you. Make sure you have one or the other. If you have both, bravo, even better. So, Arena and PvP kills. If you're only doing Arena progression, Let's say you don't want to do Primadon, you don't want to do Ferryman, you don't want to kill Snow Golems, ETC, you don't want to go Depths and Farm, again, etc. Um, 40 through 100 Arena slash PvP kills. Yes, that is a lot. Then again, Power 1 through 60 is a lot of levels. That's a lot of playtime. So 40 to 100 kills is actually not that much if you think about it through the game, um, through your life from start to finish. It's actually not a lot of kills. But if you're going about it with tunnel vision, it does seem like a lot because you're only focused on one thing. But if you're playing the game for what it is, it's actually not a lot. I'm not going to lie to you, it's not a lot. 
now if you only want to do prima dawn i'd say it's about 15 to 20 kills 100 percent if you've done prima dawn 20 times you will have bell and i mean 20 15 to 20 times duo not trio because every time you do prima dawn the amount of people there scales how hard he is and it scales the amount of progression you get after you kill him the amount of exp you get after you kill him so if you're doing him duo he gives you a bunch of experience gives you a bunch of progression duo is the next best thing trio maybe if you're struggling but i don't have the stats for trio so shrug trio side the only thing you should be doing primadon with is solo or duo if there's going to be more people there just let them spawn prima in make sure they don't touch him you only want to do primadon solo and duo if you're doing it duo 15 to 20 times making sure you have the adept or the lone mark of the warrior survivor this trial of one card you need both of them or one of them 15 to 20 uh, primadon kills and you will guarantee i guarantee you you will have bells after that let's say you didn't kill any players that's the only type of progression you did 20 primadons will guarantee you a bell now do i recommend only doing 20 primadons or only doing only doing pvp no i genuinely think it's best to have a mix of both every slot i have um when i'm at lower aresia from power one to nine i make sure i grip at least five people within that threshold if you can grip players higher than that even better because they give you more experience grip players so from level one to nine i make sure i grip at least five players from level 10 to level 20 you need to do the most you need to do the most make sure you grip at least 10 players within that time frame 20 to 30 no 20 to 45 is crucial you i do recommend at least 20 to 25 player grips when you hit that 20 to 40 range i i prompt i guarantee bro it is so efficient to make sure every 10 levels or every 20 levels or so you have a decent amount of player grips now that doesn't mean just kill everything you see walking but you can progress but make sure after like after you'd power up maybe you get a legendary card your luck is down make sure you maximize the amount of luck you have make sure you kill at least two players every power at least at least now if you're not rushing um by the time you're 45 to 50 that is when i start doing primadon so personally i go around you know getting the grips i need from power one to power 45 to 50 and then power 50 or power 45 i start doing primadon i usually start doing primadon around 40 to 45 so i can power me up, so that powers me up to 50 whilst i'm doing the primadon um so i say around that power range do primadon about 10 times 20 times and by the time you finish doing that you will have a guaranteed bell but if you actually follow the plan and let's say you're power 45 and you've gripped around 40 players just do prima don about eight times and you gar guarantee you you have bells duo 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 now i did hear that every time you kill prima don um solo it's 16 percent progression towards bell and then you half it every single time you add a person on don't know if that's accurate or not but i could take that 16 percent seriously because the guy that did it always has his bells take that how you want to take that if you made it this far into the video hit that like button hit the subscribe button this video's really just been me talking and whatever gameplay is in the back i'm my character's really just sitting at um at etrus cool and taking in the scenery that's how you get bells and anyone that says otherwise well i really don't care because i've been getting my bells <laughs> i've been progressing i've been making slots and once you, i don't know make a make disposable slots y'all boys keep having these linear progressions make disposable slots make a lot of characters i have um a flame slot that i literally only use for farming depths and if that slot wipes so be it you know what i mean but 
again, that slot's not gonna wipe because when I go depths, I go with my boy Kundi. Kundi is always clutch. <laughs> Kundi is a clutch guy. That boy's a depths master, depths dweller. So, really cool and like, um, if you're a solo player, don't be. When you're playing the game, I like to level up solo. I don't like playing the game with other people. But this game isn't primarily a solo game. You can't solo Duke and whatever. Those of you that try hard and say, yeah, but I solo Duke. Whatever, you fucking weirdo. I'd rather do Duke with some friends just to make sure I don't die. Primadon, again, I do it duo because I don't. I, I have done Primadon solo, but I don't feel secure. I don't feel safe. You, you're in, bro, if you go Primadon solo, anyone can gank you. I don't know anybody that would see someone doing Primadon solo unless this guy has the best enchant in the flipping game and be like, oh, yo, there's a guy doing Primadon. Let's not gank him. Like, what? Dude, I would rather have at least another person there with me to know we straight. We could take Primadon down and take care of business. Um, there's a lot of things. You just rather do with a group than do solo. If you don't have any friends to play with, join a guild, bruh. Like, y'all boys play the game properly. Personally, I feel like when you're progressing, when you're leveling, play solo. It's easier. It's better. The only thing playing in a group does is to give you security, but you progress much slower because there's more people farming mobs that you could have been farming after you finished the mob. It's this way better farming solo. I prefer playing the game solo. But when I need to do stuff that requires a group, that's when I do that. It's just as simple as that. You're not going to go depths alone. Unless you're um, a Zero Flame Undying Flame user, then it's cool. But you're going to run into groups of people in the depths. So it's always better to at least have one other person there that can help you out. I'm telling you, Duo, Trio Max is probably the best way to play the game. After three people, it just becomes tedious. There's just uh, two other men taking everything and taking all the loot and loot grubbers yeah no no honestly trio max two people's best right, get you get you a best friend or something you know but yeah that's all i have to say um yeah let me see y'all boys in the next one if you made it to the end of the video revolver effect hit that like button though i didn't make this video for no reason um Y'all boys got the required amount of likes, so I made the video. Whew, I rambled on for too long. End the video before we got there.